Have you ever wondered what a dream looks like when it comes true? For many Arvin High students, this will be the place where it happens. As we take a never-before-seen look at the class of 2015's graduation from a different perspective, I thought I'd say a few words as we spend just a few moments in the air with our bears. Going back to my opening question, have you ever wondered what a dream looks like when it comes true to life? Well, for many, this will be the place where it happens. With our teachers and administrators leading the way towards our students' uncertain paths towards their futures. The only thing that is certain, for now, is that those who are there will get to witness our students take a walk onto the football field, some for the first time, but for all, the last time as a high school student. Our graduates are all dressed the same and have to conform one more time to the rules of the school, but are encouraged to use all that they have learned to tap into this crazy thing that we call life. Some of us are walking with our friends. Some feel that we walk alone with only our shadow by our side, while others are walking for those who are in the stands cheering our names. No matter whom that they are walking with or walking for, it is a graduate who will fill that empty chair full of their dreams of life after turning their tassels, which may at times bring many hassles. Nonetheless, they keep walking, sometimes faster than the person behind them, catching smiles from their classmates whom they will surely miss, while making eye contact with some with whom they just met while preparing for this special day. As I soar above the crowd, I too am caught up in my thoughts of school as well. I reminisce on the many faces that have walked through my classroom doors and in some cases spent more time with me than my own two sons. As I push through my curriculum, I realize that if I'm going to make a difference in students' lives, I knew that the sidebar conversations and unrelated topics would be a necessary road to travel. Giving students directions on career choices, college destinations, and encouraging them to participate in school activities are just a few of the many chats that we have had. As the empty seats are filled, so are the hearts of our students. If they could thank all of those who helped them along the way, not realizing that because they have earned the right to sit in that chair is sometimes thanks enough. As the choir sings for the last time and the band plays their final musical notes for our seniors, they began to think of those who didn't make it to the graduation chair because of various reasons, the worst being a life ended too soon. They look around each other knowing that at this moment in time, they realize how significant the famous words, once a bear, always a bear, has now become to them. As they sit down together for the last time as a bear, they will take with them the memories that will last a lifetime, and indeed, that is what makes them bears for life. As the sun sets on just an average day for some, many more will remember what it took to get the opportunity to participate in a ceremony ending a particular chapter in their lives and beginning another. As the students turn their tassels and focus their attention on their family and friends, I too turn my attention to the next chapter of students who will walk through my doors with many of the same dreams and aspirations as the ones before them. But before I go, I take one last look from high above, answering the question myself about what a dream looks like when it comes true. I realize that what I do is a dream come true, and this is what it looks like from high above. Congratulations, Arvin High Class of 2015. Continue to follow your dreams and make your family proud of you.